and your kids are just like personally freakish where they, they hold themselves to a higher standard than you guys do, it seems like. No, no, I hold them to a standard, but the good thing is I'm not a dick about it. I'm also understanding. And, you know, you know, my kids, honestly, you probably brought, pushed themselves, do push them as harder than I pushed them because I expected, you know, because they're all in private school, fuck, I pay a lot of money for that. So yeah. you better fucking do it right. And then uh, I never push sports on my kids as far as what sport. They had to pick a sport, though. And obviously, you know, like Bella first picked volley, uh, softball. And she was from phenomenal softball before she started wrestling. She's a national champion wrestler now. And, oh, uh, really? Yeah, Bella wrestles in Iowa on scholarship. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tough. And my son right now, he just, he just beat the top 10 kid nation in the nation in the last turn that's in the Doc B. So he's oh, okay. he's a, a sophomore in high school. He's already a state champion as a freshman. And, What's that? Uh, Nevada. But oh, he just beat the top 10 guy in California. So by the time he's a senior, he'll probably be a national champion. If he keeps going on the route that he's going on right now. He, they actually, he just wrestled uh, the, the youth national champion that had beaten him every time before that. But Cage now takes wrestling seriously. He, he was always a football player. Then his sophomore year, he's like, I want, to, I want to focus on wrestling. I'm like, fuck. That makes me happy. Fuck football. I hate football. I love football. I just want my kids playing the shit. Yeah, oh, that's fucking scary. That's good. That shows it, though. Yeah. You know so now I mean? he pushes wrestling. He just, in fact, I have a video. It's on show uh, on uh, Flow Right. He pinned the kid. And the referee didn't call. He had him pinned for 15 seconds and ended up losing 9 to 11. What? Yeah, so he was upset, but I'm like, Cage, okay, I'm so fucking happy with you right now. That's the best kid in the country, your weight class. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, he wrestles 195, you know what I mean? He's oh, 220. Okay. Yeah. Bench 300 pounds yeah. his freshman year of high school. Wow. Oh, yeah. Monster. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but my kids all do like that. Like, I have to actually do the opposite. My kids, we have to tell them, all right, take today off. It's yeah. fucking vacation time. Go be a kid. They don't, they're, they're like, they're fucking like, they have some image of me that's not even real sometimes, and they want to like destroy mm -hmm. every record I ever had. And like, and I, and I love that, but at the same time, I'm like, you guys, like, you like Bella never went to fucking prom. I'm like, Bella, like, in your whole high school team never did prom, like, homecoming, at least do some kid shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, know, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know, but they're like, fucking, like, you know, Bella's a straight A student in Iowa. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, it's cool. Yeah. You grew up wrestling, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I Iowa. started wrestling at eight. Um, I was gonna say because yeah, a lot of kids I grew up with, they uh, their parents were super hard on them, and they, it was kind of like it was burnt them out. Or yeah, burn them out, and they was they was good, you know, coming up, and then that's what I've always worried about. Being went that to college, part. and they end up doing heroin and all yeah. that type of shit. You know what I mean? That's why like, I pushed my kids to have like a life. Like, yeah, yeah. So now, but it, I mean, they're fun, relax. Yeah, they but I just don't want them to get burnt out because I see people snap me and you know Robert Drysdale was a world champion. Oh, yeah, yeah. right? Phenomenal, he was like fucking undefeated as a fighter. He just made too much money being a jiu-jitsu coach, so he just went that route. We talked about that. His dad never pushed jiu-jitsu on him. He didn't take jiu-jitsu seriously until he was like 19, 20 years old, right? And so, uh, but he had friends where he went to Brazil. He was a Brazilian guy with his mom, you know, and so uh, kids that would like three days a week, four days a week, five days, every day, you either go do jiu-jitsu, go do jiu-jitsu. His mom and dad were like, you want to go to jiu-jitsu today? Yeah, sure. You want to go to jiu-jitsu? No, I'm cool. All right, you know, just make sure you do your homework. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't force it on him. He goes, all his friends, and now he's like a nine-time world champ, right? Everybody that was forced upon them and like, you're going to go train, you're going to do this. He goes, they wouldn't fucking put a gi on if you fucking held a gun at their head. Like, yeah. they hate it. Yeah. Like, none of them do shit now. Like, they're all like, their parents all broke them. So he and I talk about that. Like, you got to be a good parent and push your kids, but... You can't break them either. That's why they 